So let's now continue the same example. We have so far calculated the days remaining to close value which is close date minus today's date. Understand the requirement. Okay. The business requirement is business wanted to have a checkbox feel like this. Okay. The checkbox will be true or false. Business want a checkbox field in opportunity. It's a checkbox field. Okay. The name of the field is what? Potential customer. This particular field will be either true or false. Okay. Every single opportunity will have a field called potential customer and this field will be true based on some business logic. What is the logic? The logic is this. If the amount is greater than 100 or well it's 1000. If the opportunity amount is greater than 1000, then automatically this checkbox name potential customer would be true. Got it? Let's do this. How can I do this? I have to create a new formula field below this. Uh, the name of the formula is potential customer. Let me just copy this name. I'll go to opportunity, same page. This is the opportunity fields and relationship. Yeah. I'm going to click on new button. Create another field with the formula data type. Select next. And I'll, because I've copied the name, I'm just pasting it here. Guys, what should be the written type here? My requirement is I need a checkbox. The checkbox name should be potential customer. And the checkbox will be true if the opportunity amount is greater than 1000. So the data type, the return type should be what? Checkbox. Correct? Click on next. Now, what should be the formula? Very simple. Click on insert field. Select the opportunity amount, which is this. Insert this greater than 1000. If the opportunity amount is greater than 1000, then the checkbox will be true. Right? That's a checkbox. Now click on next. Save. I'm done. What I'll do is I'm going to go and test the same testing formula opportunity. No, that's the account. Sorry. Let me go to this opportunity called test OPP. And uh, the opportunity amount is blank so far. Where's the checkbox I created? See, opportunity amount is blank. So the potential customer is false. Now I'm going to go and edit the amount and put it like 1200, which is greater than 1000. If I save, what's going to happen? See the opportunity potential customer. It's become now it's true now, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and change it to 100, which is less than thousand. If I save, see automatically this checkbox is becoming false. You get it? So you can use a checkbox. I'm, I'm telling you this, these kind of checkboxes are really very helpful when, when you do the reporting, let's say you might have millions of opportunity. And business wanted to see all the potential customers, potential opportunities. So this could be your checkbox field, which, which you can hide it from the layout, right? You don't have to show this in the entire layout. It will be there in the backend, right? And you can use this particular field in the reporting. You can filter all the millions of opportunity based on the potential customer is equal to true. That's the, that's the filter. And then this will this report will show you all the potential customers where the amount is greater than thousand. All right. Now to add on in the same requirement, just to add on, what I'm going to do is now this particular opportunity field name potential customer. What it is checking? It is just checking if the opportunity amount is thousand. Let me edit. And in in the same field in the same formula field let's check one more thing now my requirement is the same checkbox potential customer it would be true if amount is greater than thousand and if the days field that we have created now what was the name of the field we just created let me go to opportunity days remaining to close if this particular field value is let's say greater than uh, less than five if any deal is yet to be closed in less than five days and if the amount is greater than 1000 then check this box as true 
how do you do this now in order to make this happen i'm going to introduce one more formula uh, i mean one more function here is called if see we use this if function a lot that's the reason why i just have uh, chosen this example this is the if function let me show you how this if works understand this okay let me close this particular thing hope you can see it properly yep see this is the if function syntax okay if bracket starts here you have to provide the conditions what is my conditions let's say this is my condition amount is greater than thousand if it is true if amount is greater than thousand then the value of this field should be what true and if it is false then the value of this field should be false so this is a checkbox data type so the value of this checkbox should be either true or false if the amount is greater than thousand then it should be true or it should be false right and this is exactly same right either you write if or you write only amount greater than thousand it is exactly same what i'm going to do now i'm just going to save this okay just check the syntax and just going to show you something syntaxes are totally fine no problem click on save see i have changed the formula okay now the formula is if amount is greater than thousand if it is true check the box which is true if it is not then make the uh, check box as false right now if i refresh this page uh, if i go to the same opportunity and change the opportunity amount as uh, 3000 which is greater than 1000 what's going to happen see the same checkbox would be again true so my formula is working previously i just wrote no if it just the direct formula i wrote here amount greater than 1000 and it gave me the same result at this time i'm going to use if there is a reason the reason is now I customize requirement right where I not only have to check the amount if it is greater than thousand but also have to check if the days remaining field is less than five make sense I have to check two conditions here if you want to check two conditions here you have to use here one more function called and make sense let me show you how and this is the function that I'm talking about and just click on this insert selected function now this looks a little complex if you understand this if and and function then most of the formula that we write we use this a lot okay if and and okay these two functions we do use a lot of other functions as well but these two function is like frequently used functions understand how this and um, function that we can use and is a function which will allow the user to check couple of conditions you see this logic 1 logic 2 logic 3 logic 4 logic n so here i'm gonna check i'm gonna remove everything inside the end okay i'm gonna check these conditions so control x put it inside and just give comma okay comma only comma so i'm checking if amount is greater than a uh, thousand and i have to check one more thing right what is that if the opportunity days right what is the field name again days remaining to close inside that field if that field is less than five very simple what i did i'm just checking if amount is greater than thousand and if this is less than five so you see how i use and over here and is just this is how the syntax of and right and so which means if this this particular thing and this is true then the checkbox will be true and if this and this is false or one of this is false and it will be the checkbox will be false got it okay now i'll just quickly check the syntax which is correct no error in the syntaxes just click on save now what is my conditions i'm checking two things if the amount is greater than thousand and if the days remaining to close is less than five let's go and check this out the amount here is greater than 1000 but the uh, days remaining to close is seven which is not less than five so the second condition is not satisfying right in this case what will happen if i just click on edit button and quickly save this See, this become false what if i choose the close date from 15th of 
this month to let's say saturday save see it become true why because the amount is greater than 1000 and the days remaining to close is less than 5 make sense right what if i want to check what if i uh, want to put one more condition let's say if the amount is greater than 1000 if the days remaining to close less than 5 and if let's say the stage is qualification right then only make this condition make this checkbox true or else it will be false now let's add this also in the and conditions before I add this, let me show you something. See, stage is a pick list, right? So you have to give your comma and uh, what should be the third condition? Insert field, opportunity, stage. Insert is equals to, you have to give a quote, okay? Single quote because you are, uh, you know, typing some text. So make sure you write uh, the qualification and this spelling has to be correct. So I'm selecting amount greater than 1000, days remaining less than 5 and stage name equals to this. Let me show you this if the syntax is correct or wrong. See the syntax is wrong. It is telling me the field stage name is a pick list field. Yes, it is a pick list. So pick list fields are only supported in certain functions. If you want to check some pick list field value is equals to something or not then you cannot simply type in the pick list field name over here you have to use a function and the function name is is pick val see there are so many function right is blank is a function which will check which will help you to check if the if the value is blank or not right there's another is null is number is pick val that's the one this is the function which will help you to check if the pick list value is something or not so I have selected, I have inserted. Now this looks a little more complex. So I am selecting and amount greater than this, days remaining less than 5 and this stage name I will put like control X and here I will put control V. I will again remove this control X and here I will put control V and uh, there is no equals to. Pretty simple. So I'm checking here is pick val stage name this whenever you want to use a pick list field inside your formula you have to use this is pick val function got it now let's check the syntax I think the syntax is correct only because and and make sure you match the brackets see this is the last this bracket which is closing starting over here you get it this last bracket uh, bracket is the no sorry this last bracket is the and bracket and function is starting here and and closing here which one is this bracket this is is pick val bracket see is pick val is starting here and closing here make sense and this is the if bracket so if bracket is starting here and closing here got it so bracket has to be exactly correct if you remove let's say i forgot to add this last bracket correct you cannot save it if you click on check syntax see there's an error syntax missing the bracket okay so let's put this close bracket and click on save now what is the con what are the conditions that my formula field is checking it is checking if the amount is greater than thousand and it is checking if the days remaining to close is less than five and it is checking if the stage name is qualification got it now amount is 3000 uh, days remaining is 2 and stage is qualifications so they should be true what if i change the stage let's say i'm changing the stage from qualification to prospecting save see the pot potential customer it become false because this condition is not matching what if i go and make the stage from prospecting to uh, back to qualification now this time it will be true because it is matching the criteria what is the criteria the amount is greater than thousand which is true days remaining less than five which is true and stage is qualification so this is the formula got it so in this video we have learned how to use if function how to use and function and how to use is pick well got it and a few other functions are there which is pretty easy to use 
like you know if you want to add some months next to it if you you want to use like begins if you want to check let's say um the 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 there's a text okay and the text starts with let's say r a j e s h rajesh if you want to check if the text is starting with rajesh or not check this if you want to check if it is a if there is a blank value or not check this got it so and, and one more thing is here it is very helpful right initially when you start the formula field let's say i want to know what is this da function and i don't know how how it works if i if i click on this help on this function right you will see the related articles which will help you to find how to use this da function so initially uh, i mean i would recommend one thing whenever you get this kind of a comment where you have to write a formula just google you will get so many helping uh, blogs or salesforce has many help.salesforce.com articles where you can learn about it okay so use those things definitely implement the same formula that i have written here in this screen i'm just showing you that and also there's a trail head on formula and validation which you have to do it after this okay that's all about formula i want you to use this formula practice this formula a little bit next video we're going to talk about something called validations validation rule this is also part of automations so formula is what is is something automating right in this checkbox is getting calculated automatically so this is a part of formula is a part of automations correct uh, though it's it, it can actually calculate a big uh, calculation as well i mean if you can use properly this formula it can definitely help you to calculate so many things it's very powerful you don't have to you know write apex code to calculate something it's just the formula which can which can you know check so many things got it so leverage the formula next video let's learn the validation tool see you in the next video